Disclaimer. This video is only for entertainment and educational purpose. Any brand or product featured in this video, has nothing to do with the content itself. This video is also not sponsored. So in this video I'll be making a liquid cooling system for my smartphone. Now a liquid cooling system might sound crazy because uh, they are generally huge and would not fit in a smartphone. But I'll be making it compact enough so that uh, it is somewhat portable and can fit on the back of a smartphone. So what it does is that when I turn on this pump, uh, by the way the pump is powered by this OTG cable which will draw current from my smartphone battery and I don't have to charge this thing. Uh, so the pump will push the water into the water block. Now a water block is a metal container made of uh, copper or aluminium uh, or maybe silver, any any metal that has a very high specific heat conductivity. Now what it does is that it absorbs the heat from the motherboard and then uh, passes it to the water. Now the water then absorbs the heat and it moves forward to the water block. Now as you can see the hot water has moved into the water block now, uh, sorry the radiator. Now the radiator uh, what it does is that it has a very high surface area and it helps to um, cool down the water um, by dissipating the heat outside in the atmosphere. Now the heat dissipates outside uh, and the water cools down then the cold water again enters the pump and this cycle goes on and on. Now in my case to make it make this thing com compact uh, I cannot keep this radiator because it also requires a fan to cool it down. So I'll be removing this radiator. Now you might think that this will uh, uh, reduce the efficiency of the liquid cooling system uh, because it is a major component but in my case uh, I don't think so because I'll, I'll think that this water block is uh, big enough to dissipate the heat outside and the water is itself quite cold and I think it will work because this is a smartphone and I can't make, make it huge I have to keep it compact so let's see what happens So the setup is finally complete. I've also put a piece of cardboard on top of it to make it look uh, more presentable. And here's the connection for the OTG cable, the inlet pipe, here's the outlet pipe and this is the water block. So let's start it. So here's the OTG connection. Now as soon as I switch it on, you can see the pump start. So listen carefully. Yes.
now you might think that the water is static but if I bring it close you can see the bubbles uh, flowing let me focus right here and yes this is just a prototype so it can definitely be made uh, more portable and it can be also designed to look better so please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will definitely come up with uh, better designs and better videos like this so that's it for today and thanks for watching bye